again. I've been home uh, doing some work and uh, the family's still up at Bangs Beach. So I'm going to head up there for a few more days and I'm hoping there might be some clear skies up there to uh, do a bit more imaging with the red cat. Uh, see what target I can uh, find that will be suitable. Um, the weather hasn't been great and uh, I've just been through some pretty heavy rain um, only a few minutes ago so I, I don't think it's a goer tonight but um, I'm hoping in the next few nights when we're up there I can get some imaging done so it's about an hour 40 drive up there it's been probably a little slower today because of all the traffic and the rain but um, yeah I should be up there not long after uh, time actually so yeah I'll just um, keep on driving uh, until we make it to Langs Beach later well I'm really excited tonight because this could be the first clear night I've had for about two or three weeks although if you can see the sky behind me it doesn't really look that convincing at the moment um, but uh, I got my fingers crossed um, yeah, we, we've had uh, a lot of cloud and a lot of wind for the last two or three weeks. There's so much wind. Um, it's blown day and night, 30 knots, uh, just has not let up. And um, even on the odd night when I've been able to get out for like an hour, uh, in between uh, banks of cloud coming through, uh, the wind has been incredibly strong and blowing. And uh, fortunately, I've got the red cat up here. Um, on the overkill mount for the Red Cat, the CEM60, um, just behind me here, and uh, that's probably a good thing considering the wind. Uh, it is supposed to drop tonight about midnight, so I'm, I'm hoping. Um, and I am planning to go after the Fighting Dragons of ARA or NGC 6188. Now I have photographed these uh, before, but I was using the 294MC Pro. So this time I want to do some uh, true narrowband imaging on it. Uh, I have also previously imaged the little egg, um, or what people call the dragon's egg, that sits below the two fighting dragons. It's NGC, I think it's 6164. Uh, but this time I'm trying something a bit more wide field with, with the red cat. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get some good data tonight. Uh, the moon is about 50% give or take, I don't know if you can see the moon up there. Um, and uh, so it's going to be starting to get quite bright. So I'll be shooting in the opposite direction, sort of towards the south. And um, yeah, probably might stick to just HA and S2 rather than O3 uh, and wait till the moon goes. But I might try to see how it goes tonight since I am shooting in the opposite direction, it's not a full moon. So yeah, fingers crossed, oh so many fingers crossed that it actually stays clear tonight. So let's just run through the equipment I'm using tonight. So as I said I'm using the Red Cat 51, um, fresh back from being uh, fixed from William Optics. Um, I've got my ZWO electronic focuser, uh, working really well actually in this configuration uh, with, the, with the belt that I made, it seems to work really well, I'm getting nice U curves and the focus looks uh, fantastic. I've got the ASI Air Pro, um, we'll be controlling everything. And um, I've got an OAG on here. Again, it's there because I take this imaging train and I put it on 
my med 10 inch so that's why, well, that's, why that's there and uh, then the ZWO uh, filter wheel these are the 1.25 inch Optolong narrowband filters and then this is my ASI 1600 uh, MM Pro uh, and of course I've got the uh, CEM60 which as I already said overkill for this mount for this um, telescope but uh, probably not a bad thing given the amount of wind that has been uh, blowing through here and will probably continue until about midnight but we'll see. Okay, so it's night two because night one was a complete washout. Um, the clouds never, well, they came in after I set up and they never left so um, tonight was supposed to be clear and it was completely cloudy when I set up and then about two hours later it finally cleared so it's about 20, 20 to 1 in the morning and uh, I'm just capturing some some more subs on the uh, Fighting Dragons of Ara NGC 6188 um, and I'm doing HA at the moment and the moon's pretty bright I think it's about a 78% moon so it's going to be HA and S2 only there's going to be no O3 tonight so we'll see how far we can go how long it'll go it is supposed to be fine tomorrow so I'm hoping it can be clear all night I might try and get some sleep uh, and just let it image away because I think, I hope I can trust the weather tonight Probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Okay, well it's um, six o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't know if you can see back there, Saturn's, not Saturn, Venus is, uh, has come up and uh, it's going to be sunrise shortly so it's time to pack up it's means to stay clear all night which has been fantastic fantastic so i having trouble with my words because i'm a bit tired <laughs> anyway um i better get the air packed up uh, and i might be able to get another hour's sleep before everybody else gets up <laughs> 